the most common disease in America, insulin resistance, the most common problem that affects hundreds of millions of Americans is not diagnosed 90% of the time by the doctor. That's a shocking I, stat. I think we're saying, missing a lot of it, unfortunately. Uh, I think we're missing a lot of it. And I, I, think, I think we don't necessarily know how prevalent it is as a medical society, perhaps, um, as a whole. We don't necessarily know how, uh, how common it is. No. And it's really common. And every so time common. I mention that statistic, people are shocked. No. Yeah. And, and, and with kids now, too. So, oh. I mean, it used to be that the majority of liver transplants in this country were done because of alcohol cirrhosis. And now the majority are being done because of fatty liver caused by fructose and high consumption of sugar. Even in young adults, which is terrifying. I mean, I, I was at an obesity conference and there was this guy there who was a pediatric gastroenterologist. I'm like, what are you doing here? He's well. You know, we see a lot of fatty liver in kids, five-year-olds. I'm like, really? That's what we used to see in you know, old people with diabetes, right? Yeah, and, so uh, that's it's very sad. So make sure you do your five, three-day diet record. And the, uh, the other thing is ask your doctor for a fasting insulin. This is something I've been measuring for 30 years, and I almost never see it done by most physicians. And it's probably the most important test because your fasting insulin goes up way before your blood sugar. Uh, and, and that's something you can easily detect by checking your, your blood test. And it's an easy blood test. And I'll tell you, if your insulin is over five, you're heading towards trouble. If it's over 10, it's not great. And if it's way more than 10, you're in trouble. So that's, that's yeah. a, an easy thing to measure. And it's something that'll tell you where you're going and it affects your mental health. So